Then you cut it small, and you cut it small pieces like this, it will cook quicker. The process for cooking it to get it like what we have in this pot, it's take six, six and a half hours. So you prepare the beef, and then after you cut it up, you wash it, and then you put your seasoning in a bit. The seasoning consists of hot pepper, seasoned pepper, garlic, and salt. Nothing artificial. Then, once we have it finished, you just put it on the fire, slow fire. Anybody here know how you cook rice? Slow fire? Well, that's the fire you cook. That's how I cook my beef, the same amount of heat. So, the process will take six long hours. It really depends on the kind of cow, whether it's a young cow or an old cow. The, you may get it that is mashing up within um, four and a half to, to five hours if it's a young cow, but the cow that is more mature, it takes longer. And I can set, I can set my stove and go Georgetown East and West Bay for five hours and come back. And when I come back, then I'm going to have to pay attention to the pot and then I will make sure that everything is going well. Watch it as it boils down and make sure it's done bun. <laughs> Couple times I've burned up some pots, but yeah. just to go to sleep, you know, but that's happened. <laughs> anyway. I can see, this meat is very um, tender because it came from a young cow. I think it was prepared for Mr. Paul Borden. Yeah, and compliments to you, Mr. Paul, from the society. And you must say, Mr. Paul always support us from half a cow right down to third or four pounds he gave. He doesn't sell us, he gave us. So. Thanks for your support, sir. I will cut up my season now, my season pepper. And everything I do, I, I measure I, the salt. If I, if I do 10 pounds of beef, I know how much salt to put in it that during the process I don't have to add no more. And 10 pounds of beef, I know how many pounds of onions to put in the bit. And garlic, and I don't know, that's how I put Some people take the seed out, but don't do that. The seed is where the taste and the relish is. Don't throw any seed. When it cook, you can't find one in the meat, so it ain't no hurt to you. Mr. Alvin, can you talk about the importance of the seasoned pepper versus the hot pepper? Well, the seasoned pepper gives it a good flavor, very good flavor. When you're cooking with these peppers, as uh, you enter the kitchen or in the area, you can smell the season so nice and spicy. It's the seasoned pepper. The hot peppers are good too, but they can't compare with the with the relishing of the seasoned pepper and the garlic next. I also sometimes I use about two three cloves of this, but since I have the grind one, I just use that. <laughs> okay. We put onion in it too as well, right? Yes, we put onion in it as well, but I don't know what happened to the onion. <laughs> Anyhow, the next thing, when you do this beef, you don't put no water in it. A lot of people fill the pot with water, no water. You cook it, and as you, if you cook this on low fire, it yields a own water. You don't need to put one drop of water in it. Okay. 
Now I put my scotch bonnet. These are very small, but they are hot. You want to taste this one? No. <laughs> Not a chance. Okay. Good. Do you include the seeds of the hot pepper? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you heard that? He includes everything. He doesn't throw away anything. How long you how long you marinate the beef for? Well, sometime I take like I, I will season it for a day before and put it down. But when you do your quick fix, you can um, do it um, right away. It might it's not gonna be much different in the taste. Trust me. Because of the amount of time it takes to cook, is that it? Yeah, that's five, this is five pounds of beef now, so I put inside of this beef, I put five pounds, I put one, one spoon for the salt. This A tablespoon of salt. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. And how many peppers? I put eight seasoned peppers and two small scotch bonnets. And about, about half a clove of garlic. And this is. And the secret weapons? <laughs> a lot of it. The pot holds the secret. That's right, you Yeah. When I cook beef and give anybody in my pot, I, I don't allow them to wash it because I don't want them to wash their secret out. So I <laughs> Six, six o'clock, seven o'clock, minutes to seven. We can check about twelve, one o'clock today. Oh, she's, she's a real good thing. Well, when you wake up, you have something to eat. This pot, demonstration of this pot. This pot holds 35 pounds. And this is the second biggest pot I have. The only problem I have with it, when I cook it full, I need help to pick it up. I can't carry it by myself. So after, I will show you, after um, five and a half to six hours, you will get something looking like this. And I'm sick and tired of hearing doctor telling people, don't eat red meat. When I start to cook it, it's red, and when it finishes, it's brown. So tell the doctor, I tell you that. That's true. <laughs> I <laughs> agree.